What's going on guys? Pegasus from the Wise Guys. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you like competition, make sure you show up to the Owl's Nest on Wednesday nights where we have online competition. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Pegasus from the Wise Guys. How you doing? Um, play Drytron. I didn't play Ultimate Niche today. It's over here. So, shut up for that even starts. Shout out to everybody. That not that there's anybody down here, but I'm playing pure, so ruler turbo basically. I played three Alpha Thuban. Um, there's nothing that you need to say. He searches for the ritual though, but um, there's nothing you need to say about him. He straddles. Um, this searches the ritual spell. I think he played three of it because if you don't ritual summon, you're screwed. So like, <laughs> I don't see how you wouldn't play three or at least two. Two at least. Um, Two Delta, Delta draws, so how you can remember, um, Zeta, I guess, is A all the way to Z, you grab the rituals, you know, I don't know what the hell that means. Alpha, Alpha, you grab all of the uh, the ritual monsters, like any ritual, so like all D is Delta, um, and then Gamma grabs, and Gamma is the one that grabs one back from the grave. Um, I want to play more than that, but you don't need to, and then the other one is uh, Beta, and that one's like awful, so... It does it does something with the banished power, it's just not that good. Yeah, it's it's, it, it's not good. Right. Yeah. Yep. Um three orange light. Um flexing because it's so sexy and ulti. Thank god I already had him. Shout out to Daryl. <laughs> um Cyber Angel, uh Petite Cyber Angel and Eva. People play this one or they play purple. I like this one. I made a video on it of why I like this one because I feel like the profit out of this card, purple doesn't actually help you all the time unless you're going against it all schism. You don't care about Eldritch Traps, you play through them. You don't care about back row that you can play through like Alter Guys, you'll just walk right through them. This helps you if they hit you with a strike or anything like that and you can summon and come right back because it's, mon it's basically Manju. You won't play it when Diviner comes out or you might, you know, it's you don't need to play it probably. Um, Three Benton, um, the card everybody's whining about. Eventually it'll get hit at some point. Um, but they enable her, and she's so they're the enabler, she's the drug addict. She uh you banish <laughs> it's a special, and then you target and take something, and you can just link up an entire board. Everybody already knows this. I'm just kind of explaining exactly what it does. Um, and then the, the life point thing is not once a turn. A lot of people forget that online, they forget it in real life. You you can literally cheese people in time if the world was normal you know but it's not right now uh it, it would be cheesing people all over the place in a in a major event um and then rounding out manju uh dawn knight um and vanity's ruler people are talking about i can completely understand taking this out people are talking about cutting manju and i think that's one of the silliest things i think i've ever heard in my life um but you know teach their own and then Dawn Knight is the great connector in the deck that everybody pretty much figured out because of a Union Carrier. Um, and he's finally really, really useful. He's literally just Armageddon Knight with, you know, skin cancer. Um, Standing in the sunlight. <laughs> That's not funny. Uh, <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> but uh, seriously, Dawn Knight, Dawn Knight, like, finally got enabled. Because, like, it's, it's always been hanging around waiting to be good, but it just wasn't. Um, and then getting into the, some of the other cards I played... I played actual hand traps. Again, I pivot and try stuff out. And today I played it in locals, and this did really, really well, but I played more mirrors. So it's like the trade off is I probably, sometimes this is two ash and a ghost bell. Sometimes it's a uh, skullmeister and, and two ash. You know, you can just mess around and experiment with, with all kind of stuff. And then I played Lancia. Uh, I feel like uh, if I play against Virtual World and I see it, great. Because it's going to like cheapen their board state. If I don't, you know, no big deal because I don't want to see it that much. You know, if, if other banished decks come in the meta, then you just start manipulating stuff. But I like playing like actual hand traps because I like blanketing people's turns. I'm trying blanketing people's turns with these. That's basically what it is. The Ghost Bell and the Ash are really, really powerful and they hurt more decks. I just kind of felt this is what I was going to play against today and I was right about today. But again, you can always pivot it to whatever whatever room you're in, you just change it up. Uh, getting into the spells, three Nova, three Emergency, three Fafnir, 
people forget about the effect to change the levels uh, if you have a dry trying card on the field. It doesn't come up that much, but occasionally, I'd say once every about 10 matches, it's going to come up at least once. Just don't forget it. Um, and then three prep. Uh, this card is this card is ridiculous. All these cards are ridiculous, and they all help you start. This is where where they'll hit the deck at some point in some kind of way. But that would suck for Cyber Dragon. Um, and then the ritual spell, foolish. And I played one droplets. Um, I actually don't have any more than that. But I feel like I I want to play three. Like everybody's starting to main a lot more of these, and that's great. But I don't miss it like that either. It's like it's 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 a it's like debatable because like it doesn't help you that much in a mirror because if they still have orange light and all that stuff in their hand, then droplets doesn't help you that much. But it also does help you in a mirror match. It just depends on what build. There's it's hard to figure out what people have. If they have Appaloosa and the Ultimateness, then it's not that great. Um, and then getting into the extra deck real quick, um, Pucho card is phenomenal. If you get stopped in any kind of way, you just sit on that card and then pray you don't get Kaiju. Wait, wait, <laughs> <laughs> pray you don't. I knew I was going to look at you when I said that. Uh, the Lyra Lusk, just so you can double attack, it, it's just really cheap and really fast. It's like your Hayate, low key. You can cheat somebody in time. Downward Magician, you overlay on, on top of this usually, and it gives you extra material for Zeus. Zeus is a very well designed card by Konami. That's all we're going to say about that. Uh, Union Carrier. I want to play two. You don't have to though. Um, just because if, if you're going back and forth and you actually are playing a good game, and Union Carrier is kind of really, really good. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix, Cerberus, uh, and then for the, for the Nightmares, uh, and Unicorn. Um, Self explanatory. The utility out of them, plus Natasha in your main deck. Outstanding, like really, really good. Um, Mirage Light's the reason why you can play this build because um, you have to have some kind of protection for the Vanity's Ruler, and usually it's two Drytrons can turn into this, and then this sitting in front of a Vanity's Ruler is. Thanks for coming. And then he actually, his effect oh, to like recur in your graveyard is really, really powerful too. Uh, Transverser, because people still don't know how to play around it, and they walk right into it. It happened twice today. No offense. Um, <laughs> Uh, Amorize for the for a card that's in my extra deck, but also you can you can turn this and a and a Link Karibo into a Union Carrier as well. Uh, I'll, I'll come back to this card in a second. Anima, really really good. You also Union Carrier plays. You can also point this at a Union Carrier and then and then trigger its effect to get a Dawn Knight off the field if you ever get stuck with a Drychon on the field. That's convoluted stuff that might not happen. Uh, Mascarena and then Boral Sword. I don't have. Access Code Talker for like a month. I'm still waiting on USPS. You know, I'm pretty sure people can attest to the pain in the ass that USPS is. This is the most fun part of the deck to me. Torrential Tribute is disgusting um, because I don't play back row. So why would you put in back row removal? Exactly why I set Torrential Tribute. You can try out different trap cards. That's an insane trap card right now, so that's why I'm playing it. I played uh, Trap Elvitch, so that's why I like Torrential Tribute, because I understand how good it is. Uh, three Nibiru um, for combo. It's, it's really, really powerful right now. Um, three Evenly. This can be like two Lightning Storms and something. It can be two Twin Twisters and, and something else. It can be space for anything else. But people don't respect this card, and nobody's playing Solemn Judgment. And all those back row decks, why not? Um, we beat them already, but why not just blow them completely away? And usually, if they're just going to hold on to dear life to that floodgate, you won the game. Because your field's going to be wide open. Um, three Dolphin. Um, again, with the with the Almirage. You can turn the Almirage. You can turn this into an Almirage. And then that, plus a Link Karibo, like a Drytron that you pitch off of this, gets you a Union Carrier. So that's why you play the, the Almirage most of the time. And Dolphin can help you out the droll. And then the last three cards are those. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the deck is really, really good. I take this in and out because of this guy over here. <laughs> Look at me again. Because <laughs> <laughs> of this guy over here. I, I literally, I, I try both of this and ruler. I try just this. I try just ruler. It's like, 
Have fun with the deck and experiment with it. That's all I can say. It's so versatile. It's versatile. It's versatile like that where I can flip the script on everybody in here every single week. So it's really, really fun, and it's great to have locals. So shout out to Game Cafe. Appreciate it.